Oh. Looks like those horsemen are arriving here at the Forbidden Lands. I mean, that is the unforgettable bridge that we all know and love. Instantly recognizable. But what are they coming here for, anyway? Was it something that Dorman was talking about? That we didn't have much time? Maybe. Well, let's see. Hmm. Again with that mask. Something about that mask. It's quiet. Too quiet. Hmm. I haven't been magically transported here yet. The last Colossus is gone. Ha! Hmm. There's Mono! So... Since I defeated all the Colossi, what's gonna happen? Oh, looks like I wasn't plopped back over to the Shrine of Worship yet. As usual. By the way, did you notice Wander subtly changing in appearance after each Colossus? Like, he, he kept getting more and more markings on his body. Hmm? Hey! Stay away from her! I did a lot of work to save her. Ah, I'm back. Hmm? Yeah, I've saved Mono. Didn't I? What? Keep your arrow to the knee jokes to yourself. That's not the knee, it's the thigh. Uh, no, I very much want to live.
Oh. Just like the Colossus. I'm feeling pretty powerful now. Oh no! Hey, what's happening to my body? Well, guess Mono wasn't saved after all. Uh... Uh, my body's getting a little bigger than usual. Guess what? Guess what? We are in control of Dorman. Attack. I will smash you all. My HP, your scratch damage will eventually do me in. Take this. Actually, where'd you guys go anyway? You guys just seen the vanish. <laughs> I see one of you down there, and well, it's gonna be smashing time. How do you like those apples for trying to get in the way of saving Mono? By the way, I'm just hitting square here. <laughs> And I can also move with the left analog stick. You don't stand the chance against me. Fists of fate. Or so Kaiba would say as he unleashes Obelisk the Tormentor. <sighs> Take this. <sighs> <sighs> Mono. I won't let these guys 
stand in the way of our love. You're not gonna get away from me. No way, Jose. Come back here and face me. Face me. Hey, don't you guys think you can get away from me climbing up there? I have the grip strength of a god! And what is with that sword? There's definitely something very special about that sword. Save you, Mono. I'll use my powers. Well, whatever power I have left to try and save you. I'm back in control. I can't get any leeway. Come on. Let me reach Mono! Uh, 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 I can't resist! The seal! It's dragging me in! Uh, uh. They'd better get a move on! The bridge is crumbling very fast! It's hot on their heels! What would happen if the bridge started crumbling from the other side as well? They'd be doomed! <laughs> oh, Mono. I guess we were being used all along. But man, that was a fun adventure. So worth it. Huh? Wait, what? Her eyes are moving! Whoa! She's back! It worked! But... 
What became of Wander? I mean, he fell into that magical whirlpool of suckiness. Hmm. Back to the world of the living. So artistic. What? Is that who I think it was? Horse! You made it! Oh, horse! Well, you're a little injured, but you're pretty much just as indestructible as ever, horse. Oh. Faithful steed. Well, does that mean Wander sacrificed himself to save Mono? Does that mean Dorman wasn't really using you, but really spoke the truth that it was? That there were consequences to be had if you were to try to do the forbidden spell? Who knows? Remember, when I started this walkthrough, I said that there's a lot of things about this game that were up for interpretation, and the game's story is definitely one of them. Uh, but anyway, I always, as I always say, I did not make the game, these awesome people did. I just made the walkthrough to help people out and entertain them. So, what did you think of this game? I knew you'd like it. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea <laughs> what you said. This is, this is before I'm uploading the video, obviously. You know, I record everything and edit it together. And yeah, you get what I'm saying. So, uh, there's also a wonder of what were all these buildings doing in this place? Like, there appeared to be some sort of civilization here before, but was it the Colossus that destroyed the civilizations because you know some Colossus did not hurt you at all like um, well un until you started bugging them so a, a thing about that is it makes you wonder if Dorman was actually good and that the others just didn't trust him you know Lord Iman and his uh, uh, crew that goes around and prevents people from uh, doing this forbidden spell to uh, recover people and whatnot. And also at the moment, what happened to Wander? That's still uh, up in the air at the moment. But uh, perhaps we'll find out about that soon enough, or maybe we won't. We're just gonna have to keep watching this video, because there's still more of the ending to see. I'm just uh, speculating, I guess you could say, about what we've already seen. And uh, since this place, you know, the whole the whole world of this game is called the Forbidden Lands, it, it makes you wonder if they're called the Forbidden Lands because of, you know, the dangers that are here, like the Colossus, or they're just because they're forbidden by a misunderstanding, you know, by uh, Lord Iman or whatnot. And uh, they're still they're still crossing that bridge there. It's a long trek, but it seems like they're making. Uh, um, enough of a headway from the bridge crumbling for them to make it out as long as they're on their faithful steeds. But oh no, we're st ending's still going. And apparently they know it's safe to stand here even though I would not stop there. I would just go straight through the door opening if you ask me. <laughs> I don't believe that. I think people who could just like climb down. Looks like it is. 
I mean, there's food to eat. You've seen all those fruit trees and lizard tails. What? What'd I do? I just tried to save a loved one. Now, um... Another thing, uh, uh, how do I put it? Well, I guess I'll, I'll wait until you see this upcoming thing here. Because they're walking over to uh, where that pool was that Wander fell into. Well, I should say got sucked into. But, uh... Um, it, it, oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to say was, you know how they ca uh, call it the Forbidden Spell, the Forbidden Lands and whatnot? Maybe the reason why it's called Forbidden is because it is the quote-unquote laws of the living, or laws of the humans or something that was mentioned earlier on um, in the game. Because it mentioned that um, there was a thing where... Uh, that, you know, once, once someone dies, they're gone for good, you know, from the world. And that's apparently a thing that was hinted that it was either latched onto by the, the, the world itself or the humans or something like that. As I said, a lot of stuff in this game is up for interpretation. And, uh, that's another thing that's about it. So, what do you think? <laughs> It really, this game really gets the mind thinking about stuff and stuff and stuff that uh, came up in the game, and you know, like, uh, you know, where it might have been based off of, and yeah. <laughs> and a uh, horse is going up there for some reason. I don't know why. So uh, that baby you've seen there, who is that baby? Is that Wander? Is that? A new baby that came out of you know, Wander sacrificing himself as being something that had to be sacrificed in order to complete the forbidden spell, you know, to save Mono. I don't know! <laughs> Again, just a lot of thoughts that, uh, a lot of possibilities that could happen. One thing is for sure, though, is that uh, apparently uh, those the 16 Colossus were scattered, or like pieces of Dormant, it seemed to be like, that were scattered across the lands because of that, uh, um, you, you know, the, the the ending segment that said, hey, you know, they got them all together and whatnot, basically, that it was hinting at. You get what I'm saying here. <laughs> but uh, uh, maybe getting... I mean, maybe he, Dorman got split up because they didn't want Dorman to revive people in such a way, you know, sacrificing one for another and whatnot. Or maybe Dorman really was bad and is bad for the world or something like that? Who knows? So much to think about. By the way, this uh, place that they're in right now, we haven't seen. But, uh... Maybe we will, because this isn't the last part of the walkthrough. There is a little bit of extra stuff that I'd like to go over with you. But, you know, it's, this part's getting long, so <laughs> it's going to happen in the next part and whatnot. But, uh, yeah. But just continue to enjoy the peaceful scenery. And it appears that other life is here, uh, besides just lizards and turtles because we've got a deer coming along here some birds we've seen those are the the birds that we've seen uh, hanging around where uh, uh, Mono was sleeping a lot of the times the one thing's for sure the game remains incredibly artistic to the very end and it's definitely an experience of a game that I, I will not soon forget. And that's why I had to make a walkthrough of this game. To show you something that you might have missed otherwise. Plus, you know, to help out people that already have the game and need some help finding stuff. <laughs>
fly-by view of the lands that the Colossi are now defeated in. See those pillars of light? They're again making them a very prominent, I guess you could say, feature of the game world. Uh, by showing them off in the credits here. Still have no idea what those pillars of light are, but they were there since the very conceiving of the game, basically. And that's it. With that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.